Okay, in today's training video, I'm going to talk to you about how to dispute inaccurate charge-offs off of your customer's credit report. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after charge-offs that's inaccurate. So what's a charge-off? A charge-off basically is, is when the creditor charges off your account because you or your customer failed to pay a bill within 180 days. So basically the creditor is tired of trying to collect. Basically they'll send it to a collection agency first and an internal collection agency. And if that internal collection agency can't collect from you, then it'll go back to the creditor and then the creditor will charge it off. It'll write off, it'll write it off their books after six months. And that's why it appears on your customer's credit report as a charge off because the creditor just got tired of trying to get the money from your customer. All right, now, is a charge-off hard to dispute? Is it any different from any of the other accounts? And the answer is no. Actually, a charge-off is a charge-off. If it's negative, it's negative, okay? You handle it the same way you handle any other inaccurate negative account, all right? So another question that we always get, what if, um, you know, do we still owe the money even though the creditor charged it off? And the answer is yes. Uh, just because they charge it off, that doesn't mean you don't owe the balance. You still owe the balance or your customer still owes the balance even though uh, it was charged off. Okay, so always remember that. If the customer asks you, well, you know, it's charged off. I mean, why should I pay? Well, even though it's charged off, you still owe the balance. So what you want to do is you basically, before you start disputing this on behalf of your customer, you want to interview your customer on why they feel that this charge off is inaccurate. All right, so you need to build your argument when you, you start disputing. You wanna interview your customer and ask them why do they feel that this charge off is inaccurate. And you want your, your customer to take a look at the balance. Is the balance correct or wrong? The date of last activity, the open date, the close date. So these are just some of the reasons that you can, uh, or some of the things you can ask your customer during the interview so after you ask your customer that and you build your argument and you have a, a good idea of how to dispute this charge off the first thing you want to do is go over to training and let's go right here where it says the dispute process now if you are new to disputing then you could probably just skip this but I don't recommend that you just skip this video because you know you can always learn so you want to watch this video the dispute process but if you already watched the video fine then what you want to do is come down here where it says dispute campaigns and you want to click right there and it's a list of different dispute campaigns detailing how to dispute different things like for example we're talking about charge off so there's a charge off section on how to dispute a inaccurate charge off so you want to read over that and then after you read over that you'll have a basic understanding on how to go after this particular charge off okay now on the next screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to dispute a charge off an inaccurate charge off using the software okay so let's go ahead and add our first dispute and what we're going to do is we're going to dispute two charge offs so we're going to use boy bad as our sample let's go over here to dispute and what we're going to do let's go to add items so we can see the items that we're going to challenge so right here we're going to challenge a best buy account it's a charge off it's on all three credit reports midland collections it's a charge off it's on all three credit reports Let's go ahead and select all here and let's just go ahead and hit dispute there all right and now it's put it put both of these charge off accounts in dispute so let's go straight to credit bureau so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you how you can dispute these charge offs so what we're going to do we're going to do a two-step strategy now the first thing you want to do we're going to work on best buy so the first thing you want to do is you want to select a round because this is round one and this is set one now the reason why we use sets is because let's say for example this customer boy bad had 25 negative accounts and we only want to dispute the first 25 the first five all right so that first five will be set one and then the next five will be set two and then the next five will be set three like that the next five will be uh, set four so we break them up into sets when the customer have a lot of inaccurate items but for this demonstration purposes this customer only has two so it will be set one. But if it, if this customer had a lot more, um, when we do the next dispute round on month two, it will be set two, okay? So what we're gonna do is you have four different categories you can pick from, from dispute letters. You can use uh, dispute flow letters, and these are basically 
letters in order one through six okay or you can use campaign letters you can use your own letters right here manual letters or you can use general letters all right general letters are independent letters that you can pick from and choose and these letters are geared to go straight to the credit bureaus all right so for demonstration purposes only and this video what we're going to do is we're going to just use the dispute flow letter so we're going to use letter one the initial dispute so say for example we send out this initial um, dispute for the collection account now we talked earlier that you have to interview your customer to build an argument and get their side their take of why this collection I'm sorry this charge off account is inaccurate so let's go ahead and let's just do a custom reason now you don't have to do a custom reason if you want to do a um, a template reason you can just go down here to charge off let's find that there right here and there are six different dispute reasons and you want to pick one that pretty much matches your customers argument okay so we'll pick one let's just say the customer says that uh, uh, the report and balance is incorrect so we'll just choose that we already have a letter chosen let's go ahead and click add your dispute and let's say they choose something else for middling collections all right uh, the date open on the account is wrong all right so again you know these are just basic templated reasons that you can use based on your interview with your customer you know you're basically going off basically what your customers telling you about these accounts if the customers telling you that the accounts are inaccurate then you use their dispute reason don't try to make up your own dispute reason go based off what the customers telling you now you can use these general reasons here or you can go into more detail and you can customize it and give more meat and give more like an explanation on why the date open is, is incorrect or an explanation on why the report balance is incorrect so you know you can go into more detail you know the more detail you go in for each argument the better the better it is for the credit bureaus all right so all you need to do next is just go ahead and click print and it'll take you straight to um, the print icon and from there you will just go ahead and print out uh, these letters and basically what will happen is once you print out the letters your customer will automatically get an email letting them know which accounts you're disputing and which charge off accounts that you are disputing all right so that's going to complete this quick training tutorial when it comes to disputing inaccurate charge offs for your customer